welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Dog Meeting Experience. So, you see, uh, the, never seen that person before sitting there and been sitting down there. But, you know, it will always, again, find a purpose. Never uh, run out of purpose because when you have a lot of fanatical people, that's what they do. So anyway, there's a video I got up when I came in the Pines apartment today. It was so bad and they look so bad. You know, she's been home for an entire, what, four days, right? So she came back from, with the kids from the, from the water park on Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And not once has she cleaned. I spoke to her on Sunday. She was like, oh, I'm cleaning up the kitchen. You guys see the kitchen, how it is. All right, I'll upload the video when I get home. All right, that's not cleaning. Dead roaches all over the place. Couldn't even bother to pick it up. To pick them up, okay? That's what she does. And she's like, oh yeah, I put this stuff down. You see all these dead roaches uh, coming out and they die. Yeah, but you don't even pick them up. You just leave them right on the floor. You know, like I said, that mindset, I keep telling her, I said, you need to be aware and become conscious of that mindset that you have okay i mean <laughs> let me tell you as long as i've known her it has gotten worse so imagine if she lived with anybody a man per se or whatever woman okay and if they have the same mindset of her you could imagine and if they didn't have the same mindset of her they wouldn't last, okay? Because she refuses to change her mindset to better herself and to improve the condition in which she lives in for the benefit of our children, right? Nope, all she thinks about herself, okay? Like I said, the entire weekend in her bedroom, barely checking on the kids. I had to call her many times because I couldn't get in touch with the kids because my, my son misplaced his phone again, you know? And I had asked her sadly to please uh, help him look for his phone. And she did not do that. She did not do it at all, okay? And on Monday is when she decided she's gonna help him look for his phone, because why? Because she wants me calling her phone. You know, that is what she does, okay? And obviously, you know, like I said, you know, I'm calling to speak to my kids and I can't get in touch with them. I have to call her. And, you know, so that she can say, oh, you, why are you calling me? So I'm like, you, you know, that's what she tell her friends. Oh, he's calling me such and such time. So many times. Yeah, because I'm trying to get in touch with my kids, right? If my son can't find his phone, I have to call you. And I'm calling you to see if he found his phone to attempt to turn it on or if it's on to I'm calling him. But she's not saying that. That's the way manipulative people mindset work particularly um, you know these females right these, uh, when it comes to dealing with their kids <laughs> I was talking to my friend in Atlanta and uh, she you know she was saying she was like you know yeah it, it's it's that's the way the mindset works you know she has sent me a bunch of information years ago well, I would say when was it when I re-enrolled in college about um, narcissistic personality traits a whole bunch of of um, uh, studies and stuff like that and you know when I think back and I said you know yeah the two women I have kids with very narcissistic deceit de 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 deceptive you know and uh, they love drama love, well, actually the first one loves drama okay this one this one is just you know when it comes to certain things she just has a, a, an avoidance personality disorder right she avoid the clutter even when I clean it, right, she makes more clutter. You know, she, she'll put, as long, if she sees an empty space, she has to put something on top of it. And I told her, I said, you know, why do you do that? I said, this is why you have so many stuff all over the place. When I clean and, I, and, and you see an empty space, even on top of my home theater speakers, right? She'll put stuff on there. She'll put mail on there. She'll put clothes on there. She'll put hair care products on there. You know, and I'm like, 
you know? And it's like, I can tell them, I said, you need to become more conscious of how you're conditioned. The only how you're going to be able to change is if you have come to some level of self-awareness. So she came in the house tonight and she's staring at my unk chain again. <laughs> she's constantly staring at my unk chain again. Then I, then I had uh, um, a sambo, right? Uh, like one of my um, my posts, and I'm like, wait, how you how you liking my posts, bro? You and I are not friends, okay? I didn't tag anybody on my on my posts. So how is it that you're able to find my post, my, my post? Because they send them there. Okay? I, I, I made a post. I didn't tag anybody, any of my friends on it. Right? And then my post, only my friends could see the post that I made. So how was it that he, you know, and then there's some Sambo with a white chick. <laughs> right? But then he got like pro-black shit over his page. I'm like, come on, Negro. <laughs> you know, agents, that's what I tell you. That's what they do. That's what Christians do. See, I don't pretend to be a Christian and go on Christian uh, people's pages, right? I don't do that. We don't do that. Only religious people do that shit, whether they're Christian or they're Muslims, right? This is, that's what I'm saying. Religion creates a very uh, narcissistic mindset within these people, right? So you can't expect anything less or anything more from these people because it is who they are, right? They're deceptive, manipulative, right? And part of their personality is created because of their belief system, okay? So, you know, I just, I just shake my head. I just started laughing, you know, because I always see this shit. You know, they'll come on, they'll they'll come on to the groups, the the atheist groups or the 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 non-religious groups, and they will start some shit. But then when you go into their groups, if you go into their groups and you post something, they're like, uh, um, you know, this is this is this group is for only people who believe in Christ. Okay, but yet y'all coming on people that people pages or groups that don't believe in Christ. And you see, that's, that's the mindset of religious people, right? They love to persecute others, but they don't like to be persecuted by others, okay? <laughs> Again, that's that, that's that self-centered, selfish mindset. New York Fecal Department, <laughs> right? That is, look, New York Fecal Department, that is, that is that selfish mindset that they engage in, okay? This is what they do. And so when you are targeted by them, you know, remember, everything they do, if they cannot convert you, right, they will try and destroy you, right? They will, allow people to treat you anyhow, and if you fight back, then you're wrong, okay? Because that's the way they are. So when they're being persecuted, you know, I no longer care. I don't care. Persecute their ass, because they love to persecute others. You know? So there you go. I have no problem with that. This is what they do. All right? And so again, they love to bring war, but they don't want war bring it brought to them, right? That's why in the Bible, Jesus says, you know, if your enemy strikes you, turn the other cheek, right? And to love your enemies, right? And we as black people, or I say not we as black people, but the nigger peers, you know, they're the, they're the stupid ones. Because they'll turn the other cheek to white people and other people striking them, but, sure we can you know, if it's a black person, you know, if it's a black person, they don't have that same mindset, right? They don't, they're not turning the other cheek, right? They're not loving their enemy. If the enemy look like them and the enemy is black, but the enemy be white, Asian, Hispanic, what have you, Arab, yeah, <laughs> you know? So that's just to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you.
the reason why I'm, I say damn because she's walking and she went like, I guess it went to the gym and work out. And her thing is all up in her behind like that. I'm like, hey girl, like, have some respect. I understand you go to the gym, but come on now. You know, <laughs> come on now. Like I said, you know, uh, women have been brought down to a level of uncouth. <laughs> this uncouthness, I'm not sure if that's a word. And just, you know, they don't care about the way they look, about the things that come out of their mouth. You know? And so, you know, watching an older woman who, older black woman did a video and she was like, you know, she was married and she, she got a job and she got a raise and she thought she was better than her husband. And so she divorced him because he wasn't leveling up like her. She, she thought that because she was leveling up, she was going to meet other men that was leveling up. And she did meet other men that was leveling up. But they just slept on her. They must just only sleep on her. Right? And she said, you know, yeah, I was, I was leveling up. And my body count was going higher and higher. But guess what? My value was, was going down and down. So, but these, that, and these women, that's something that they don't understand. That even in the age of 50, 55, they're still behaving like teenagers and like young people in their 20s, particularly sexual, right? So their body count keep going up, but their value keep going down. And to them, they attribute their value to their job, okay? All right, and that's the difference between men and women. Men do not attribute their value based on their job. They attribute their value based on their character, what they do for the community, right? What kind of business opportunity they bring to others, right? The fact that they can hire multiple people, right? So their value is not just based on because they got a position, right? But for women, the education and the money they make, that's their value. So it doesn't matter if they're 300 pounds, if they got a PhD and making over six figures, you know, they think that that's their value. But they don't understand that men buy, the men don't buy you based on how much money you make. They, they buy you based on beauty and your sexual value in the sexual marketplace, as Kevin Samuel would say. All right, talk to you guys in the next video.